Hey everyone, Cliff Jumper 1984, Red Rocks, the Alcoholic Autobot. Doing that a little backwards than we normally do it, isn't it? Just want to make a short video real quick. Uh, of course, you, big NES fan. I've listed, I think I have a video of uh, my top five favorite video game series, and Legend of Zelda is number two. And just to hold things over while I'm still working on my top 20 Super Nintendo games, uh, I only did 20 through 16. I'm going to put a link of that below if you want to check that out. But again, this is going to be my top five favorite uh, Legend of Zelda games. Number five uh, for the Game Boy, the original one, Link's Awakening. You know, it was definitely a great game on the Game Boy considering it was longer and when you saved it, you didn't exactly start at the same point. You started, what, in the building or outside of the building you last saved or died at? It was a little different, but I like that idea. Uh, you know, for something that you're going on a trip four hours away, it's definitely something that you can sit and play the whole time. Number four, Ocarina of Time. I know I was like, it's not your fucking number one? No, it's not my number one. I mean, I... Uh, we'll get, I guess we'll get to that later. The story was definitely cool. I like the idea of, you know, the time travel, I guess, and going ahead seven years. But I guess some of the problems I have with it is the only thing of when the split timeline theory came up. And I guess it's official now since that book's been released. I don't know. I just didn't think that... It kind of makes sense to me, but kind of just sits a little bit uneasy, I guess, in certain ways. I'm not saying it does discredits the whole series, but it, it's hard to explain. I like it, but I don't. That's easy enough. You know, story, the characters, and everything. Yeah. Number three. Yeah, number three. Uh, the original Legend of Zelda. Why? It was the first one I played. You didn't know what you were doing. I you know, I got, I didn't get one of the first releases, which you got the overworld map with the one. You know, I think, like, I forget when it was actually added when they put that in the cart. I did have a gold one, but what, they threw an overworld map and had, like, a couple of tips on it and stuff like that. Uh, you know, I didn't actually beat it until I was a little bit older at, like, 10 or 11, and then beat the second quest, even until I was, like, 16. Number two would be A Link to the Past. It took me six days during Christmas vacation of 1993 or 92 to beat it. And, you know, that's... I think after I sat down and officially played through that game and beat it in that many days, it actually gave me a sense of actually, you know, before the turn came out, I guess, I, like, I felt like a gamer. Compared to, you know, playing... Nintendo and then picking this up and thinking, you know, I'm playing games now to beat them. Of course, that's always your goal, but sometimes you feel like certain games get you more hardcore to beat games. Like when you play through one that takes that much uh, thought, you know, even though you look at it back now, it's like, yeah, it's pretty simple. But I guess after you play through it a couple times, you know, what do you expect? Number one on my list, and I've mentioned this probably a few times in my videos, actually, that's my favorite Legend of Zelda game, is The Adventures of Link. I love the... I guess I just love the play of it, how it's not traditional. And... It's, it's definitely... The difficulties up there, definitely in the last castle. Holy shit. I think it's nice about the level system, but of course, you know, everyone complains about, you know, there's a bow missing in there and stuff like that. I don't, I don't know why it actually sticks out to me. I've gone and played it several, several times over and over. It probably is the Legend of Zelda game that I go back and play the most. I replay a lot of these. I just recently did that one, and, you know... It's just, I guess it's the sense of, you know, knowing that you can do this and do that. There's still, you know, troubles I have with it when you get to some of the later palaces.
Yeah, there's so, still some fun things to point at that game, I guess. I just wish I'd like to see a, a reboot or remake, you know, not a remake. I want to see a reboot Zelda 8-bit style like that. There's other ones that had some success. You know, do it, Nintendo. Yeah, uh, just a quick video. It's what my thoughts are. You like Zelda games? What's your top five? Throw it down below. Let me know. I always love chatting with everybody. Video response it if you got time. If you want to, uh, hit that button right up there for the subscription if you like what you're seeing. It's Red Rocks with my Natty Ice saying, drink one on me.